What is up everyone, Stonepost34 here bringing you a new series. This is a new idea I had. Uh, I love the growing up with Stonepost, but I gotta tell you, I only have so many stories and I thought this would be kind of fun to add a new twist to uh, my channel. And this is gonna be Living with Stonepost. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna share parts of my life. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna share with you my last weekend. But first, real quick, I want to do a QA. and I only have a handful of questions, so please send me some Q&A. Uh, send me a direct message on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. I got a couple questions off there yesterday. So also, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably know what this is about. Uh, this is about uh, my 10-year anniversary and what I did. My wife actually, on our anniversary, was out of town. She was in Chicago. I was cruising uh, with the kids, batching it. Did a pretty good job. I got to tell you, I was pretty tired at the end of it uh, and when she got back from that four-day deal. But uh, so what we did for our 10-year anniversary, oh, by the way, there's going to be pictures in this. Uh, so stay tuned. Watch most of the video if you can. I understand if you don't have time, but I'm going to put some pictures from our trip in there. So um, what we did for our trip uh, for our 10-year anniversary is uh, we went to Indianapolis. Now, I'll give you a little background. I used to live in Indiana. Right out of college, I managed an outlet center in Seymour, Indiana. Did that for about a year and then decided I didn't really like... <laughs> I liked the job. I just didn't really like where I lived, and I was kind of out there by myself. So um, what what I did was move back, but anyway, that's beside the point. So uh, I was familiar with Indianapolis, Indiana. I've been there for you know part of my uh, career after college. So uh, we drove to Indianapolis. We got up Sunday morning. I'm sorry, Saturday morning, and drove. I drove the whole way by myself. Now we live in Northeast Kansas. That's a seven and a half hour windshield time drive, and. Um, I was tired, man. That's a lot of driving. Uh, my wife offered to drive. It's not that she didn't want to drive. I just said, you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and drive. I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, so we got there. Um, basically, I had bought the tickets ahead of time. I'm embarrassed to say this. I bought them on StubHub, which is pretty cool. Um, I thought, well, maybe I'll just show up and we'll scalp some tickets. But I wanted good seats. I mean, this was our 10-year anniversary. And um, so I got pretty good seats. We were about 15 rows up on the uh, our side, the chief side, 15 uh, yard line. So we had good seats. <laughs> Come to find out, I saw a scalper in the parking lot on our way in. And he was like, hey, you got an extra ticket? And I said, how much would you give me for this? Guess what he said? $15. I paid 125 bucks a ticket. Plus, StubHub has a handling fee. I think it's 10% like, or something like that. But... Anyway, whatever. I'm kind of embarrassed to even tell you that. So we stayed like a block from the stadium. It was awesome. And if you guys haven't seen Lucas Oil Stadium, it is, it's pretty amazing. You know, Arrowhead, we have season tickets there, and it's fun, and it's all outdoors. But the this stadium is rather cool. I mean, it's um, leave a message in the comments if you've been there. Tell people about it. I'll tell you what I thought. I mean, I think it was built uh, in 2009, if I remember right. And it's, uh, it's got louvered doors on one side. It's got a retractable roof. Now, the seating isn't a lot. I think it's around 63000 and some change. Um, you know, and where I'm at, Arrowhead's over 70000 And, um, yeah, it's just a lot of people where I'm at. Now, the, the parking's different, too. It's kind of weird. Now, I don't want to sound disparaging about this, but it is in a down, it's south of the downtown business district. Um, but it's still in a downtown kind of industrial setting. And where I'm at, uh, where we tailgate, it's basically huge parking lots. We have Kauffman Stadium and Arrowhead Stadium together in the same parking lot. So we have all this parking, and there's no place to grab food. Basically, if you want to eat, you have to bring your own food. So everyone cooks out. It's just a fun event. But there, it's just a little bit different, different vibe. I mean, it was still enjoyable. Um, just weren't – when you go to Arrowhead, it's just like all you can smell is smoked meat. Um, people cooking hot dogs and brats and burgers and and some people you know get there real early and smoke uh, some meat and barbecue there it was it was a little more tame I told my wife it felt like a company picnic <laughs> don't take that the wrong way but it just it was a different feeling uh, for sure I mean it was still fun but we were like a block away from the stadium and um, which was nice because we didn't know anyone there to tailgate with so we you know cruised around the stadium and um, actually, we had a, a, a website came up to us. We wanted to take our picture because we were the opposing team fans. 32loud.com. You look them up if you want to. Um, so we, then we just headed back to the room, chilled. It was kind of nice, you know. And, 
you're going to see a picture of my wife in here. This is Mrs. Stonepost. <laughs> Been married 10 years. But uh, we had a great time. Now, the game started out rough. Now, the Chiefs went down. They went down early. And we're sitting there. I've got my hands between my head. Uh, or, yeah, my head between my hands. And uh, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I know we're bad. <laughs> but I thought the Colts were worse. And uh, they went up strong on us with their new quarterback. And, uh, well, their backup quarterback, he's not new. And uh, I thought, man, this is going to be a long game. Now, I got to tell you, we, you know, we were in a, a hostile environment we, because, because of the good seats we had, there were a lot of season ticket holders around us. And there was a guy behind us. Our punter kicked a punt, and it, was a, it wasn't a great punt. I think it was 35 yards. It was the very first punt of the game. And he's like, dude, your punter sucks. Well, he's talking to us because we're the only Chiefs fans around. I'm like, come on, dude. One punt punt you've seen this guy do in your entire life and you think he sucks you know just stuff like that and and my wife here's the funny story my wife before we go because I get pretty animated at home games Chiefs games I get excited I mean I figure if I'm gonna be there I gotta cheer and uh, my wife ahead of time she's like now Greg uh, I know you get excited just just remember we're a guest and I'm like yeah yeah we'll be fine I'll be fine don't worry about it I know how to handle myself. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm excitable, but I'm not going to get out of hand. And uh, come to find out, guess who the problem was? <laughs> it wasn't me. It was my wife. I had to pull her down a couple times when she's like yelling, first down. And, uh, you know, we're the only people yelling. And she she's like, yeah, come on, get him. <laughs> and it was, it was fine. And, and you got to understand, this state, it's weird because where we're at um, – it's it's so loud. I mean, you can yell something, and probably only about 30 people around you are going to hear it. There, you yell something. In fact, she did it when Jackie Battle came off the field. He had a great game. She, we were behind their bench. She goes, great job, Jackie. Great job. He actually looked up. I'm like, I've never seen that at an Arrowhead at a Chiefs game. <laughs> to me, that was pretty amazing. So uh, we had a great time. We, we went down uh, early to the Colts, and we came back. I, I'm not bragging because our team's not good either, but um, – we came back and we won the game. It was exciting right at the end. And then we went up. We got a. We didn't talk to any Chiefs players. But we got close to the field. That was kind of cool. And then um, one of the players' parents was behind us, so we got to talk to him. Uh, him and his mom, or him and his mom, his him and his wife. Uh, and we got to talk to them and told them we're Chiefs fans. Obviously, we were there in red. So it was just a cool time. It was a lot of fun. I got to tell you, I have the coolest wife ever. Um, obviously, she lets me play video games. And uh, obviously she likes football, so <laughs> that's never been an issue. But um, yeah, just a great time, good 10 year anniversary. And um, I don't know, I, I feel blessed to have all the opportunities I do and uh, have the wife that I do. So uh, basically <laughs> we, we spent the night there Sunday, watched football back in the room and just hung out, chilled, called the kids, missed the kids a ton. And um, we got up the next morning and we drove and i gotta tell you you know when you're so excited to get out and get to your destination that drive just doesn't seem like a whole lot man trying to get home that was a long drive and uh i've got a 2003 camry this thing kicks butt it's a four cylinder and um i got a little computer on there so it tells me what kind of mileage i get i got 36 miles to the gallon on the whole trip in town driving plus um basically you know the trip there and back so Man, I, I was excited about that. So we had a great time. We got back. Missed the heck out of the girls. But anyway, guys, let me know if you enjoy this series. I don't know. I'm thinking I've got a couple other stories that have happened recently I want to share with you guys. Let me know if you like living with Stone Post. Obviously, I've got a great reception off growing up with Stone Post. So uh, just let me know, guys. I appreciate you guys listening. Let me know what you think about the pictures. And uh, take care as always. This is Stone Post 34.